Traveling can be really fun until you end up at the back of the immigration line. Now, luckily in Taiwan, if you have an ARC or an APRC, you'll never have to worry about long lines again. The eGates are equipped with infrared sensors, facial recognition cameras, and passport readers. The system is therefore able to complete immigration checks within 12 seconds. If this is your first time using the eGate, however, you need to register, which may take a few minutes if you are not the only one in the registration line. First things first, who is able to register? ARC or APRC holders with multiple entries, Chinese spouses, and travelers from Hong Kong and Macau. You must be older than 14 years and taller than 1.4 meters. And your passport number on your visa must be the same as the passport number on the passport that you are currently using. In addition, a picture of your face will be required, so no earrings or any other facial jewelry, no sunglasses and your ears must be visible, so if you have long hair, best to just tie it up. And in this picture, you may not smile. After your picture is taken, you need both your index fingers scanned for fingerprint records, first your left hand and then your right. Once everything checks out, the immigration officer will hand you back your travel documents. If you have an ARC or an APRC, they will add a little eGate sticker on the back. And you are now a registered eGate user. Using the eGate is fairly self-explanatory, but if you do get stuck, there are lots of volunteers around to help you. Place your travel document on the scanner facing up. The first set of glass doors will open. Step inside and stand on the footprints facing the camera. And again, don't smile. The second doors will open and you are done. Easy peasy. Since you have just done your fingerprint scans at the registration, you won't be required to do it again now. But starting from the second time you use the eGate, you will need to scan your face as well as your fingers each time you go through this gate. A very important side note, airport security is very strict about not taking any pictures or video during this process. And even with permission from the big boss, I still had a few run-ins with angry officers telling me to stop filming and delete all content. So I would advise you not to test their patience.